Epic Morning is brought to you by The Lion, the only new luxury residences in Vail. All right, welcome back to Epic Morning. I'm out here at Nottingham Lake giving you fly fishing tips, the basics, the fundamentals of how the fly rod works. This Epic Morning is brought to you by The Lion. I want to mention that quickly. Vail's only new luxury residences. They open for business right now in Lion's Head. Now let's talk about the grip and how you hold onto the rod. It's kind of like holding onto a hammer. Now we're going to bring that hammer analogy into the picture. So when you put your hand on the cork of the grip, you want to make sure your thumb goes down over the top. If you wrap your thumb around the side, you open up some space right here on the back side of your hand. Now remember how we talked about the 10 to 2 motion of the fly rod. When you have this opening on the back of your hand, that rod tends to slip back even further. Okay, and then that takes that 10 to 2 motion and makes it more like a 9 to 3 or a 9 to 4 motion. So you want to make sure you lock your thumb down over the top. Now let's bring the hammer into play. So the way it works with a hammer, thumb down over the top. You don't do this with a hammer. This is not typical hammer motion. Hammer motion is more forearm, keeping your, your wrist relatively prone in a static locked position, allowing you to control the hammer or control the fly rod. Moving that motion, if you do this with your thumb down off to the side, you're also gonna break that opening and that 10 to two motion is gonna change also. I have another great analogy regarding sticks and apples, and we're gonna talk about that in just a little bit. We're out here on Nottingham. Now we're gonna to go to Megan in just a minute and find out the regulations about road biking and biking around the mountains and safety tips. We'll be right back.